Hey guys, wanted to share with you another pen that made it into our family as uh, part of our aggregate family collection. And you can tell, obviously, the manufacturer of this particular pen is Pelican. Went ahead and got my wife for her birthday a Pelican pen. We got her the uh, M600, the violet and white, which was the um, the 2019 edition uh, that came out from Pelican Special Edition, and it was absolutely gorgeous. When I first saw it, I said, that's a beautiful pen. I wouldn't mind having it for my own self. My wife saw it and said, ooh, because purple is her favorite color, and uh, she kind of took a shining to it as well. So I thought that it would be a good idea to go ahead and keep an eye out for them. I had seen these pens at shows. I had seen these pens um, available online from different sellers. I've seen them in stores and I was pricing them, looking for a good price and the perfect time to get one. Well, I went ahead and found this one and I bought this at Farney's, uh, which is a manufacturer, not a manufacturer, but a distributor out of the Washington DC area. And uh, they had the best price that I found on a new, never used M600 in the violet and white. So it comes in a presentation box like this. So you get the general color scheme. Pelican always does a nice job. Pelican is known for luxury pens. They're also known for student pens. Just recently I shared with you a video on their low-end pens and individual videos on many of those little models. And I've also shared with you some other videos on their upper end pen. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to show you a comparison with this pen compared to some other luxury uh, upper end Pelican pens for your reference. But this has got the magnetic style box that opens up like this. So here you've got your, your care and uh, maintenance manual in many different languages. And Farney's put in one of their little stickers on the back. So they're actually out of Maryland, out of the general DC area. So you look, and here is an absolutely stunningly gorgeous pen. This little uh, tag here actually comes on the clip. I took it off. I wasn't going to put it back on, just to show you what it looked like. But this is the baby. This is a pen that I've oohed and awed over. And like I said, I even thought about it getting it for my own self. But, you know, that's a little less masculine, I think, uh, than I was looking for. So this, the M600. Let me show you what this pen looks like compared to some others. So, in this picture, left to right, I've got the M120, which is at the low end of their nicer pens. Uh, this came out a couple of years ago. I got one. It's kind of a, uh, a reproduction of their old luxury M120. Next to that is the M200, uh, which I kind of like. It's still a little small for my hands. Uh, next to that is the M400 and this particular one in the tortoise shell. Um, I like the pen, um, but again, it's a little small and actually that particular pen is uh, due to be cleaned out. To the right of that uh, is another 400 series. It's an M420, and the thing with that is it's all sterling silver and the cap and on the tip. So I picked that up in the Bahamas uh, when I was in Nassau at a jewelry store who was actually trying to unload a bunch of their pens because they weren't selling well within their stores, and I actually uh, taught them uh, about pens for about a half hour, 45 minutes. I had a pen class right there at the, uh, the case, and they offered me a really good price on that one well below MSRP. Uh, the next one is this one here, of course, the M600 in that violet. And then uh, the big daddy to the right, the M1000. Um, I do not have an M800 or 805, anything in the 800 series, and that's next to my target. So, taking another look at this particular pen, you've got obviously the Pelican logo on the top. A uh, very nice gold tone trim. You've got the typical pelican clip that kind of looks like a pelican's beak and you've got a very nice uh, ring around the the base of the cap pelican is known for having various colors in their striation here you saw in that picture where i had one in, that was a dark green and one that was uh you know more of a tortoise shell green and then you got a couple nice little stripes here and it is a piston filler so this would be your piston turn knob i am not going to turn it now because i don't want to get ink everywhere it is of course 
a twist off cap. It does post very nicely, very securely, and I like the size of the 600. The, the, the M600 gets to the point where I feel more comfortable with a Pelican pen uh, as, in terms of its actual size. I can still use it like this. Actually, I personally prefer it to be posted. Uh, because that's a good size and a good balance for me right there. The only problem with this being down here is, is being white. Now granted you've got a little gold tone trim right around the, the very tip of the section, but it is more prone to getting ink stained when you've got white and you're, and, uh, you're just dealing with ink and ink flow. Fortunately you're not having to necessarily uh, dip this in quite as far into a bottle of ink hopefully but you can still get some ink staining there but it has the you know the, the usual absolutely gorgeous pelican nib and you know quality nib which is what you would expect in that particular brand so now that I've shown you the the beauty of this baby let me go ahead and give you some statistics on it you've already seen some comparisons to other pelicans um, and uh, then we'll go ahead and do a writing sample Now that you've seen how this gorgeous piece of craftsmanship actually looks and you've seen how it stacks up as far as uh, statistics, let's go ahead and try to get you some writing in, all right? So this is the, the Pelican M600. Like I said, it's just getting to the, the right size for me. The 800 I've used, I've touched, I enjoy it. The 600 I like. The 1000, I like oversized pens, but it's almost getting to the point of being too big for me, uh, for my preference in how it handles, um, and that nib on that 1000 is just huge. This particular nib is actually a pretty decent nib to be able to, to wield. So I put into this one here um, a Diamine, uh, Diamine Imperial Purple. This is a medium nib, and as with most Pelican nibs, you're going to be able to get some line variation out of it, and it is very smooth. I expect that from Pelican. If I'm buying Pelican, whether it be a low-end or an upper-end pen, I expect quality. Especially when you're going to, pen, you're going to spend, um, and depending upon where you look, 350 to 400 plus dollars for a pen like you would on this one uh, you expect quality you expect luxury you want something that's going to write well it's going to hold a decent amount of ink and something that is going to be extremely smooth and very stylish looking I personally love this particular pen <laughs> uh, if I could I would keep it for myself uh, but alas, this is my lovely bride's pen. So, you know, she her birthday is the day after Mother's Day. So she got a, a beautiful pen, um, plus a, a few low-end pens as well, but for Mother's Day. Then turn her it around, and for her birthday, you know, she gets a nice luxury pelican. We got a pretty good flock going here at the house. So, uh, what I just showed you in that picture a little earlier are the upper end, uh, the more luxurious pens. Nothing that's a that's a huge uh, standout special edition model. These are usually their straight up models, um, and this, like I said, from 2019. So I do recommend the M600 because I like the size of it, I like the weight of it, I like the way it writes, um, and I absolutely love violet. Purple is also my favorite color, by the way, not just my wife's favorite color. So that's what attracts me to this particular pen as well. They just did a great job on, on the style and the coloring of this particular pen. Feel free to check them out. I'll give you the, the Farney's link down below so that you can go right over to their website and check them out uh, for whatever your pen needs might be. And like I said, that's where I found the best price I've seen anywhere on this particular pen. Mm -hmm.